and welcome my name is Nico and today I'm going to show you how to install R, R Studio, X Quartz and R Commander on a Mac machine okay so first thing you need to do is to open your preferred browser in my case that's Google Chrome and then in the search bar type download R Studio oops there it is okay so you can open this page so https uh, posit.co and then you will see that a page like this one will appear we can accept all the cookies and we have two different <coughs> things that we need to do so we need to install R and R Studio so make sure that you install, install R first okay so just click on download and install R and this will appear okay so now we want to do Mac OS and then we have this um, interface so um, what you need to do is make sure that you download the right version of R for your machine. So we have two options. We have the Apple Silicon chip, so M1, M2 Max, or the older Intel Max. If you're not sure, most likely you have the older Intel Max if, if it's an old MacBook. Um, but if it's a newer one, it might be M1 or M2. If you're not sure, just go on the top left corner where the Apple is and click About This Mac. Okay. So, if it's a new one, you will have chip Apple M1 written here, otherwise you will have Intel. Okay, just download the one that you see. In my case, I have Apple M1. The other thing you need to notice is that uh, I think it needs to be a version... Oh, probably that's for our studio. Yeah, okay. So, I'll I'm going to click on Apple Silicon M1 M2, and then the download will start. Okay. The load is finished so I can open it and then double click to start the installation progress or process continue 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 agree install is asking for my password okay so why are we doing so many steps um, to be able to access our commander well you can think about it as a layered cake okay so the bottom layer we have R so that's the new language that the, the, the new software I just installed and then on top of that we have R studio so you will never will never have to open this R software we can move it to the bin we will always use R studio to interact with R so you will use R studio to create some R code and then to run it and then we'll have the output um, on top of the R Studio, then you can install several packages and we will install R Commander. Okay, so that's the three layer cake. So R at the bottom, R Studio in the middle, and R Commander sits on top of it. An addition for Mac user is that you need to install X Quartz, and this is the version. Okay, so that, that, that's a note. You need to have X Quartz installed in order to be able to access R Commander from R Studio. But we're going to get to that in a sec. So once I'm installed R, I can go back to this website and then click on Download R Studio Desktop for Mac OS 11 Plus. So that's what I wanted to say earlier. You need to have a version of Mac OS 11 and higher. If you have a previous version, so you have your operating system is not running or Mac OS 11 or an higher version, you need to click on Download the previous version. How to know that? If you go on the top left corner, Mac, uh, that where the Apple is, about this Mac, that will tell you which version it is. In my case, it's version 11.6, so I can download this one. If your version is 10 or something or 9 or something like that, then you have to download a previous version. I can click on Download R Studio, and then the download will start. Taking a while, but get in there <coughs> okay now the load is finished I can open and double click on it to start the installation process okay so this is the interface you will see so what some people tend to do is just double click on our studio but that's wrong please don't do that the first thing you need to do is to drag and drop the icon inside the application folder. So select it and move it 
but when you see the green plus appearing just release so that will be copied inside you know you've been successful if you, that windows appears that he's copying the file then you can double click on applications this will appear and then you just need to find R Studio, and then you can double click and then you can see that here is jumping you click on open and now you will see <coughs> this R symbol so this on a um, blue background that's the R Studio symbol so every time you will start R Studio you will see that happening something I can suggest, suggest you doing is just double right click on the R Studio icon and then options keep it in dock so you always have it there so let me open R Studio full screen so this is the interface of R Studio you're going to use this quite often so it's nice uh, probably it's better for you to get familiar with it so I'm going to give you a brief explanation of what each tab is so you can see it's divided into three parts okay so the, the left part is the console so that's where you can type some code okay in R and then you will get the output this part here is where you have different tabs you have environment history connection and tutorial don't worry about connection and tutorial environment is where your vi variables will be stored so you'll be able to access them here and history just tells you the past R code that you have run so in case you forgot and you want to rerun something you will see it here the tab at the bottom of this part the section at the bottom you have files plot packages help uh, help viewer presentation so we're going to just use files and plots basically files will show you where the working directory is so basically which folder in your computer R studio is looking at so R Studio can only look at one folder at a time and cannot look within subfolders so just looking at a specific folder in this case it's looking at my at the home directory so that's the default one I can change it I'm going to show you how to change it in a different videos but you can change the working directory if you want to and probably you should at the beginning of each uh, each time you start R Studio we need to change it and point R Studio where in the folder where you have your data set where you, that you want to use for your analysis plots is where you some plots that you can generate in R will be shown packages shows you all the packages that you have installed on your R Studio at the moment just a, this is a new installation of R Studio so that's the default packages that you have installed the one with a tick are the one that are loaded and I'm going to explain to you what that means in a second and then we have the help section in case you have questions you can ask you can try to look for the answers there okay so now that we have our R studio we need to get our commander okay but before we can install our commander as I told you we need to install exports okay so if we go back to our studio desktop posit and then we click on download and install R we will go back here download R for Mac OS basically I wanted to go back to the same page I wanted to show you how to get there we need to click on X quotes, okay? Oh, let's see. If this doesn't work, okay, we can just open a new tab and type download. Oops. X quotes. Okay, the first link is the correct one. And then we can just click on it. And then you will see that it's downloading the X quotes. We can open the file, double click on it, and the installation will start. Continue, continue, agree, install there. Need to enter my password again. Okay. taking a bit longer than a minute but that's okay. okay okay installation was successful perfect so now that you install R, R Studio and X Quartz you could try and install R Commander but what I suggest you doing is um, log out and log back in okay that's the thing you the annoying thing you have to do so once you reach this step so once you install R successfully R Studio successfully export successfully you need to 
um, restart your computer, your Mac, and then you can do the final step, which is installing uh, our commander. So if you just do restart here, then that should do, that should restart your computer. So I'm gonna click on this, so probably the video will stop, and then I'll show you again what to do once you restart your Mac. Restart. So now I've in, I have restarted my Mac, and I'm ready to install our commander. So I have R installed, R Studio installed, Xcourse installed, and I'm ready to install our commander. To do so, I click on, I open my R Studio, and go to, I'll go to the tools, install packages, make sure the install from repository crown is selected and install to library and install dependency are the default sub option. And then in the package, packages, I type capital R, C, M, D, R. First option, so just this one, and click on install. So now all this dependency will be installed. Uh, yes, the option I select, it pops up. Okay, so it's installing series of dependency uh, attached to the packages our commander. When I see the red code, it's fine. Everything is happening. Don't worry about. Um, this is not another message. It's just unloading things, and the font they've decided, decided to use is red, so all is good. Uh, if there is an error message, you will see like display the, the text error, and then it will tell you what the error is. Okay. So I think everything has been downloaded and now they're just installing it. So when you see that this this stop button here, don't press it because it means that the R Studio is working in the background and is installing stuff or downloading stuff or installing stuff. So you just have to wait until everything is done. This is all good. Okay, so now everything should be done. Um, I can can just see that this one is flashing, so I can type now. I can load the package, so I've installed our commander. What I have to do is just type library, and then capital R C M D R, and then press enter. And then you will see that it's loading some packages as well, and it's throwing me another message. It says that there is no package called lm e4 package effect cannot be found. So we need to install the package lme4, so install dot packages lme4 okay then we can try again okay uh, so this is the screen 
that should appear the first time you try to load our commander okay so the following packages are used by our commander are missing blah 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 name of packages you just have to click yes and then ok and then you will see the more packages are going to be loaded oh sorry installed first so you have to do that just the first time and then you see that this window will appear so if you look at the console maybe just the console will appear the first time you will see that there is attaching package rcmdr the following object is masked from package base error condition don't worry that's not an error message it's just telling you that both rcmdr the package rcmdr so our commander and base have a function within them called error condition and by default you're using the error condition function from the package base but now that you load our commander package, the function called air condition is taken from this package instead of from base. That's it. Don't have to worry about it. So if you don't see the R commander window, usually is where the X quotes is. But if you if you can click on it, then it will appear. Otherwise, just do the classic three fingers on the trackpad, and then you'll be able to see the window. Okay. So this is the R commander. I'm going to show you in a video how to use the R commander. Um, interface but just one thing before i leave you and mm -hmm. this video if you close the r commander tab or the window okay and then try to and you want to load it again because you made a mistake or you want to continue your analysis you can type library again uh, rcmdr and press enter you see that nothing happens and if you click on it there is no R commander coming popping up. Okay. Uh, by the way, you don't have to type it. You can use store. You, you can also use the app arrow key to scroll to the the most recent uh, function or command. Sorry that you executed. So we can try to do it again. Nothing happens. This is because whenever you close the R commander window, you also need to close the R Studio window before you can access R commander again. So what I have to do is to shut the R Studio. Uh, restart it then press the app arrow key press enter and then you will see the r commander appears again and this time i don't have to install any additional packages everything is done and i can finally access r commander and do some analysis in it so remember if you close r commander accidentally or on purpose and you want to re-access it you firstly need to close and reopen r studio okay Perfect. So this is the end of the video. If you have any comment or any problem, just write in the comment section of this video or send me an email. Okay. Cheers. Bye.